So what was Krishnamurti's karma? What unresolved issues did he bring into this world, into this current lifetime of his to resolve, to move forward, to move away from? Well, he comes from his south node is in Virgo in the seventh house. So Virgo on its flip side has to do with um, a lot of self-doubt and with being under someone's orders, okay? Not having your own um sense of, of sense of identity even to to just live your life as you will okay so in the seventh house this this uh, reinforces that that um notion because the seventh house is about equal relationships house of marriage but mo- well, let's talk about that equality well he was under someone's thumb okay So we see that Neptune squares his south node from Gemini, Gemini communication, right? So we're talking about some Neptunian uh, thing, um, force. Well, think about that theosophical movement that he uh, broke away from, okay? They wanted him to be uh, the, the leader, the spokesperson, Gemini, for this highly spiritual uh, uh, position, Neptune, okay? But that's the skipped step. He uh, he got trapped in that story. He moved. He, like I said, he broke his karma, okay? He moved forward. But I want to dive more deeply into the details of his karmic story. And, and if you want to look at your chart and see what you kind of came here, what issues to to resolve, but also what capacities you have. The strengths, the talents that you have, you can use them, but there's another, um, like a realm that wants to emerge within you, okay? 